Hello and welcome to Big Dash Knows. Big Dash Knows what? New York Giants football. Let's go. First day of OTAs today, and I'm loving what I'm hearing so far. I heard there's some plays being made on the field, and you love to hear that. You just love to hear that. Yeah, so today was the first day of OTAs, um, and like I said, reading what Beat Reporters were posting, you know, via Twitter, uh, you know, on their accounts, and also reading the summary breakdowns on Giants.com, and you get excited. You get excited because, you know, you're hearing the type of things that you want to hear, you know, and good things, especially for, you know, day one of OTAs. Uh, we had rookie minicamp over the weekend, and now everybody's here together. And, you know, they're, they're just working hard, man, trying to get this playbook and get the scheme uh, implemented, you know, for the season. Um, as far as attendance goes, I'm hearing attendance was, was good. Uh, unfortunately, Kadarius Tony uh, was not there today. But I did see uh, Kadarius Tony's, uh, I think his trainer, his personal trainer, post a video, you know, on, on Twitter uh, with Kadarius working out, doing some cut drills some route running and things like that and no he was not in his backyard this time it looks like he was actually working out on the field you know in in, in this video Uh, but getting back to the guys that were on the field today obviously the rookies were there and the rookies were making some plays today and I just want to start with Wondell Robinson Um, from what I've seen and read today Wondell Robinson had himself a day um, was giving the defense some fits out of the corner. I'm um, sorry, out of the slot position. Unfortunately, he was doing that against uh, the rookie Cordell Flott. So we had a little Wandell versus Cordell uh, competition today, and then Wandell got the best of Cordell today. Also, I'm hearing that he was able to make plays. This is Wandell against Darnay Holmes as well. So he just caused some fits today, and that. Uh, and that's what you want to hear. That's what you want to see. Um, a guy that was drafted because of his big play uh, potential um, and, and being able to run those short routes out of the slot, you know, those, you know, quick moves, quick, uh, you know, quick hit passes. He was able to make some plays today. And then, you know, you're excited to hear that. Another rookie that was making some plays today is the tight end, uh, Daniel Bellinger, our draft pick. Um I heard he had the catch of the day, so I, I love that. I, I wish they would elaborate more on the play itself, but I'm pretty sure one of these uh, beat writers or either um, Giants.com will comment on that. So I'll get back uh, to the website just to see if they post any other news and details about you know specific plays. This was a little bit earlier in the day that I was reading this, and normally the Giants are usually a little slow uh, releasing information, at least official information through the website. But you know you get all the leaks from Twitter from the beat writers, things like that. So that's pretty good. Um, also having a good day today was Darius Slayton. Heard he had um, two touchdown passes over Dory Jackson. So you don't want to hear um, he's he's getting those touchdowns over Dory Jackson or CB1, but getting still. Um, you got a guy making some plays, um, a guy that could have been on the chopping block. We don't know. He could still be on the chopping block, especially with, with the cap looking the way it looks. Uh, Darius Slayton uh, looks like he's making you know 2.5 million against uh, you know, or he he counts 2.5 million. I believe that's what the number is, and you never know um, what can happen, especially if some of these other receivers, you know, um, move to the to the forefront. Uh, Darius Slayton might be expendable, but. Right now, he's on the team. He's a giant, and he was making some plays today, so I'm happy about that. Um, another rookie um, that made uh, a nice play today, a few plays, but one that one of the standout plays was the uh, undrafted free agent, Yusef Corker out of Kentucky, was able to get a pick six today off of Daniel Jones. You take the good and the bad. It's great that the guy got a pick six. Don't like it as much because it was against Daniel Jones. Um and we'll just keep it with the rookies. Um, Darian Beavers, rookie linebacker, um, had two sacks today. And like I said, these are OTA sacks where the whistle blows a, blows a play dead. But yet again, he was able to get to the quarterback fast enough for them to count it as a sack. And he got two of those, and I'm happy about that. Beaver looks like a steel man. And um, who knows, he might be fighting for that for that position alongside of uh, Blake Martinez. And we'll see what happens there. Another, another guy that stood out today, who's always going to be a standout with Saquon. And what I was hearing is that Saquon looks great in the receiving scheme so far. 
so like i said so so far man i'm liking what i'm hearing i'm liking what i'm reading you, know, you always want to hear good news about your team especially with a new coach new scheme um, a bunch of new players coming in this just injection of youth you know so it's good to hear I, I, I enjoyed hearing all this information today um another thing that i wanted to talk about was shane Lem shane lemieux did practice today so I'm, I'm happy to hear that and i'm just thinking about the offensive line man it went from uh, a place of concern to a place where there's some guys there and um and it should be some good competition especially at that left guard position uh, obviously the mu the mu uh his hat is in that ring along with the uh, rookie zudu and then you got guys like uh, Jamil Douglas. You got guys like Max Garcia. So, man, this I like the way this line is going to fill out. It's going to be competition. Nobody's just been given uh, these positions. Um, I heard that uh, Feliciano also did a great job. Uh, like I said, again, this is OTAs. This is unpadded practices. So how good can also offensive line, you know, actually be going against, you know, somebody without pads? I um, always like to see him win the pads, especially the big guys, because quickness is, is is a disadvantage for our offensive line especially going against uh these fast defensive guys but um other than that if, if you heard anything um that i didn't uh, talk about you know go ahead and put that in the comments again i you guys for tuning in um like i said i'm new to this been a long time uh giants fan like i said all my life um since since the 80s man and i'm giving away my age but yeah um just happy to hear this man We've been down for a while, and it, it's good to see that uh, that we could possibly have a resurgence of, of Giants football, and that starts with the foundation. And um, looks like these rookies today um, stood out. The rookies stood out today, and I'm happy to hear that. So again, if 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 you like what you hear, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, um, I appreciate you guys just hanging out with me, vibing with me. And again, if you have uh, any, any questions, any comments you want to uh, make, just go ahead and put those in the comment section below. And yeah, man, Giants, man, good day today. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Day two OTAs, I'll be back here, hopefully put out another video. And again, thank you for vibing with Big Dash Nose, um, Big Blue Nation. Let's go.